Rob the Car Guy here and today I want to do a quick video on the intake valve timing control solenoid valve. Yes, that is the actual name. If you are getting a P1111 uh, or a P1136, uh, this could be your fix. Now the Xterra has two of these and on the right side it's pretty exposed. You may just have to move like a few ground wires out of the way, but other than that you can get right to it. There's just three bolts, it pops right off. And then uh, for me, I'm just replacing the gasket. But if you're looking to replace these, it's all the same. Now the one on the left is covered by the intake manifold. So I went ahead and took that off. If you need assistance taking that off, uh, click right here and follow the first portion of the video where I remove all of the items required to gain access to it. All right, now let's take this thing off. Now as you can see, I have a lot of uh, dirty oil on mine and I'm actually removing mine because the gasket has perished and uh, I'm getting a lot of leaking and that leaking is getting onto the exhaust manifold and it's smoking and it could light on fire, the whole deal. So very, very important that I get this done. So if you're just replacing it, obviously it's gonna be the same steps. You wanna start by taking off the electrical connector and that's just a standard connector where you push down and then you can remove it. All right, so that's out of the way. Then you have three bolts and when we put these back in, we're gonna put them back in at eight foot pounds, but for now just pull them off in no particular order. These are 10 millimeter bolts and uh, it will have oil in it. So I'm just going to kind of shove a paper towel down there just to kind of let it grab a little bit of the oil. There shouldn't be a whole lot, but I'd rather not add to the problem here. So let's remove these. I'm just going to leave the top one in so it holds on to it while I go put the other two bolts away. Excellent. Now that the last one's out, just kind of flip it over right away so the oil doesn't spill everywhere. And then also grab the gasket and pull that out. Yeah, take a look at that gasket. Wonder why it leaked, huh? It looks like we got pretty minimal spillage, but uh, just go in, try to sop up anything that you did drop uh, so you don't get it everywhere else in the motor. So here's the valve and I'm actually gonna reuse it. So if you plan on reusing it, you need to clean yours as well. If you don't, obviously just toss it and go get your new one. For me, I'm gonna get a gasket scraper and I'm gonna make sure that this is nice and clean all the way around. And also, you need to be very careful not to get any of the remnant gasket into these holes. Now the same needs to be done for this surface. Now this is the mating surface where the valve goes back onto the motor and you just need to go through and clean this entire surface and get it as clean as you got the valve. While you have the opportunity, you can also clean, for me, where all the oil spilled, but also since your intake manifold is off, just go ahead and clean all of this. Uh, it's a good opportunity when you have access to something you don't normally have access to. Once you have everything cleaned to your satisfaction, grab out your gasket, and I can put the part number in the description. And uh, I had to actually special order this from Nissan. I could not find it on you know, the regular Amazon or eBay, but if I find an Amazon link, I'll be sure to share it with you. So grab your gasket, and then we'll just make sure the lines, there we go. So everything looks good. And uh, you, know, you just wanna basically just check your part, not that the uh, parts people at Nissan aren't the most competent people, but uh, we just like to make sure, right? So grab this and then we're gonna grab the valve and I'm just gonna connect this with the valve and the bolts and then slide it all into place. But before I do that, I'm just gonna put some paper towel down here because again, we're gonna flip that valve over and uh, it's gonna spill a little bit of oil. Now here's the valve, throw the gasket on it and then I'm just gonna slide a few bolts through it here. There's one, and then another, 
There we go. And we just wanna make sure all the holes line up, which they do. And then we're just gonna flip it over and get it into place. There we go. So we're just gonna finger tighten these bolts. All right, good. And then just do one final check to make sure the gasket is uh, still in place, that it didn't shift when you flipped it over. And then we just need to tighten these down to eight foot-pounds and then just plug our electrical connector back in. And then of course, reassemble anything that you took off just to get to this. Also, don't forget to pull out the paper towel that you put down there to collect any oil. Um, you don't wanna leave that in there and run the motor. So that's it, the rest is just putting it all back together once you're done. Check the description below for any product codes or product links that I put in there to help you get this job done. If you wanna keep up with what I'm doing, check out my Amazon store or support the channel by picking up a t-shirt, head to rtcg.tv. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.